because you don't know what the fuck you're talking about. You don't have real expertise. You don't have the blood, sweat, and tears in this game to know the real strategies and know the real principles. You sit behind a fucking dumb computer and blah, 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 all fucking day on your super chats and your stupid live streams and your stupid fucking shitty videos, okay? And I call you up. Why? Because that's what a man should do. Okay? That's what a man that loves this game and respects this game should do. Okay? And of course, what do you expect the fucking shitheads to do? To come in with a bunch of made-up slander narratives. Okay? Now all I can do is fucking go after them legally. That's really the only recourse. I made a bunch of response videos, but everyone likes the sensationalist uh, made-up slander. So that's nice that, they, that they're playing at that level. But Richard needed to be called out. And thank fucking God he's leaving. What's up guys, John Anthony here from John Anthony Lifestyle. Today we're going to talk about Richard Cooper leaving the Manosphere, okay, and why I think I'm the direct reason for that, and I'm very proud of that, okay, but before we continue, if you are not yet a subscriber, please click the subscribe button below, and make sure you press the notification bell for new alerts every single day of new videos, and if you want to get very good at the game, stop delaying, we're churning out advanced guys on a weekly basis, we're getting most guys one to two lays per week. Okay, which ends up being 50 to 100 girls per year. Okay, most of you are not at 50 lifetime or 100 lifetime. You could be at that level literally one year from now. Okay, and these results are very consistent, even for guys getting no results or very minimal results. Okay, I post lots of the testimonials about the virgins, do it going from one lay count to six lay count uh, in a week and a half, going from zero lays to five lays in three weeks, all kinds of stuff like this. Okay, so don't delay. Jump on a free 30 minute call. I'll show you what I can do for you. Before we jump into the Richard Cooper story. I'm working with my new 4K camera here. I'm thinking about moving my setup outside onto the balcony. There's a whole picturesque background out there. It will look very nice in 4K. Um, the, the previous camera I was using was, was 1080p. Uh, let's see, there's three different viewing angles. Leave in the comments. Here's the first one. It's kind of a close-up. Then we have one that's about backed out halfway. And then we have a 90-degree one that's backed out even further. As you can see here, I am indeed a fat can of smashed assholes or can of fat smash holes I don't, <laughs> can of, I don't remember which one it was leave in the comments which you prefer I like this middle one the best but here are the options okay um, but yeah I'll, I'll get I'll get out there and, and get a much better environment and I have my my pro camera down in the studio downstairs so let's jump right into Richard's video where he announces his retirement and the reasons why all right so let's take a look here at what uh, little Richard has to say. Things was there's a lot of blue pill narratives that I think held held guys back. Happy wife, happy wife. There was a lot of dudes that that uh, were getting zero intimacy from the wives. They were treated like plow horses. I saw women cheating on their husbands. Wait a second. I saw women cheating on their husbands. Is that when he looked in the mirror and saw his fucking wife slamming dudes behind his back, and then he still chased after them and wanted them back and, and uh, simped the fuck out, okay, and just got fucking slammed by more single moms. If you're not sure what I'm referencing, I made a couple videos. One was a response to Richard Cooper where he tried to call me out with a whole bunch of baseless claims, saying that I'm, I'm making videos from the basement. I showed it's a two-story penthouse, saying I look like a fat can of smashed assholes, okay, and I, I showed I'm in great shape, uh, claiming that uh, you know, I must not have any credibility, even though I have the most proof in the industry and so on and so forth. I'll put the thumbnails up so you guys can see exactly what I'm talking about. But in the the, the video entitled The Butt Plugged Beta, uh, we went through how he just got fucking destroyed by a whole bunch of single moms, how he's never showed any proof, and how he has no fucking place in this field. So that's why it's good for him to get out. Guys are like, oh, you drove him away. Yes, get the fuck out, Richard. He doesn't belong here. Just like ninety-five percent of the other coaches. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna fucking push them all out. And and if you don't like it, I don't care. Okay, that's this is totally out of control. These guys, I've talked to thousands of guys that are wasting time, effort, and money with people that don't know what the fuck they're talking about. That married or made girlfriends, very ugly girls. The whole red pill fucking movement just makes all the guys confrontational with women, resentful towards women. It gives them no practical dating strategy. And all their heroes and figureheads are just getting slaughtered by women in the sense that they get cheated on. They can't get girls. They, they're not, they married and made girlfriends with very ugly girls. 
the whole thing's totally out of control and the pickup uh, coaching community isn't any better. Okay. Where you have RSD keeping you on a hamster, hamster wheel for life. You have a whole bunch of internet marketers perfectly or purposely uh, misleading you and confusing you so that they can sell you more shit. So they never fix the problem. And then you have all the different uh, fuckers that are faking the, the fake lifestyle. Okay. With, with uh, Max and Jason Capital and these guys. So let's hear the rest of this here. Um, you know, hypergamy, you know, 101. And it's just like, I got a little fed up with the whole blue pill, blue pill narrative of the entrepreneur's org world. And then I kind of lead into the red pill thing. And the red pill thing, I'll, I'll be honest with you, is worse. I never had... Now he's saying red pill is worse than blue pill, even though he fucking pushed it for I don't know how many years. These guys are great. That's like when Todd quit RSD and he's like... Let's talk about social circle game. What does that even mean? It's just a marketing concept. Natural gain doesn't even make sense. Uh, <laughs> do looks matter? Of course they matter, stupid. He basically denounced everything he taught for 10 years. Now Richard's like, yeah, blue pill's terrible, blue pill's terrible, red pill's the best. And now he's like, red pill's worse. It's like, what the fuck are you guys even talking about? Had anybody do hit pieces on me <laughs> when I was an entrepreneur's organ? I never had anyone call me out when I was in the entrepreneur's world. I could just drive my my cars and uh, get cheated on and be a fucking huge pussy and a loser. And uh, nobody really called me out for it. But then I came in and pretended to be an expert about dating, which I clearly have no idea about. And I got called out hard. And I couldn't handle it, so I left the manosphere. Okay, so let's hear the, how this explanation goes. I never had anybody disparage me publicly or even underhandedly that, I, that ever got back to me. We were all... Um, in kind of a tribe, like a brotherhood. We all kind of work with each other. We support each other's businesses. If there's something that we needed, um, you know, somebody was there or somebody had a connection that you could be introduced to to solve that problem, which is basically how I got introduced to, you know, Rolo's work and, you know, TRP and what looks like the Mano Swamp today. And, um, you know, through that introduction, I helped a lot of guys. I mostly focus on you know, the higher tiers. I mean, almost everybody that's in my men's community, they're successful entrepreneurs, they're doctors or lawyers, they're airline uh, pilots uh, or fighter uh, pilots, uh. engineers, all kinds of really- All the coolest guys in the world. Interesting guys, you know, in those inner circles. And I run my own forum right now, uh, back there as well too, which, is, which has been a lot of fun. But I don't want to spend any time in the Mano Swamp on a go forward basis. I don't want to spend any time in the Mano Swamp on a go forward basis. Okay, good. You don't belong here. You have no fucking good value to add except parroting Rolo's trash. Okay, get the fuck out. See you later. You're going to be greatly missed almost as much as Madison. Maybe you can make a comeback. I'm still going to broadcast and talk about these ideas and these narratives that help guys level up, but it's turned into a kindergarten playground with a bunch of bratty children um, making up stories about one another to try to disparage them or it's like, I'm better than you because of this. Okay, let's be clear. Okay, all the fucking roasting I've done has been to show a whole, to show a whole bunch of qualified people and people that are purposely scamming and that don't know what the fuck they're talking about and that don't have any credibility whatsoever. Okay, that's what my videos have been about. Then, Modern Life Dating, okay, and Troy Francis decided to turn to the making up stories part. That wasn't me. Okay, I don't make up any fucking stories. Okay, I don't break any civil laws and cause civil damages okay with with the comments that i make that's them okay they're fabricating the stories and they're trying to fight back when you stack up the fact that i have hundreds of infields including over a hundred full-length polls on camera when i have thousands of pictures and hookup situations back at the house etc countless testimonials doing the, the getting the highest level of results for clients in the game by far okay driven most of the important innovations into the community uh, have the best results personally amongst all the coaches, amongst all the guys trying to do this. Uh, what else? Have the most guys vouching for me, etc. And then you stack up any other red pill guy that has nothing in any of those categories. Nothing. Okay? And you peel behind the curtains, behind their little keyboard jockeying, and they married and made girlfriends with fucking ugly fucking women. Okay? And then... You know, he's going to come in and his feelings are hurt. Oh, it's kindergarten, bratty kids. Oh, my God. No, Richard. We showed a bunch of facts from your book where you said, oh, this single mom fucking walked all over me. 
And, uh, you know, she cheated on me and I, and I left and I, I was surprised how quickly I was back with a different single mom. It's like, you're a fucking loser, okay? Congratulations, you're able to buy a McLaren. You're still a fucking loser. Maybe a girl will bang you for your car, okay, if you're lucky. But you, should, you have no business talking about fucking all this stupid shit that you talk about, okay? Just because you think Rolo is cool and Rolo is some fucking uh, expert, okay? He's a failed musician that's sitting in his basement that doesn't know shit, okay? And, and all his little cohorts don't know shit either. And the guy's pushing his stuff. I've revealed them all as scammers, okay? It's all a money grab. You guys want all circle jerk in peace and cross promote all your shit in peace and have no one open their fucking mouths about it, okay? And I'm taking tons of damage in my, to my business from all their mass slander claims, okay? But I don't give a fuck. What it, there'll be consequences for all of that. And, you know, I'm going to keep fucking doing what I'm doing because you guys are all out of control. Let's, let's hear his little rationalization here. Or uh, I'm more of this because of that sort of thing. They're basically throwing stones from a glass house, so if you know what I mean. Like, I look around and anybody that has done a hit piece, been negative, has made up shit, which, you know, to be honest with you, anybody with a brain can see right through the crap, laughs at it. And I think that's one of the reasons. And I haven't been making up anything for the record. Okay, all these fucking things that I go through about these guys, none of it's made up. Okay, the stuff about Richard was straight from his book. Okay, and all this other stuff too. It's, this is all fucking factual shit that I'm showing. Okay, Modern Life Dating decided to go and take it to the, the to fight in the mud. Okay, to do low blows, stacking, fabrication upon fabrication upon fabrication, slander upon slander upon slander. Just literally saying whatever comes to mind, thinking there's zero consequence for that. And now my ex-coach Ryan is saying that shit too. He, he, they're all, they're, they're taking it to the extreme. This is, they think that they're just invincible, okay, because they're in Asia. Ryan's in fucking China. Modern Life Dating is in Japan. They're taunting me. Oh, you're not going to do shit. Oh, look, you're not going to do shit. We're off in Asia, okay? We'll see what I'm going to do, okay? And, and, and I'll make it very public when I do do something, okay? So, you know, like I said, the, these fuckers here, uh, they think that they shouldn't be called out. They think they should just go run around. You know how many people that I talked to that Richard Cooper fucked up? A whole fuckload. That Tyler Durden fucked up? A whole fuckload. That Rolo Tomasi fucked up? A whole fuckload. I'm talking about people that had serious mental problems because of their shit. Okay, I'm talking about guys not getting laid for years. About guys just hating and resenting women. You guys are pushing tons of negative fucking bullshit narratives because you don't know what the fuck you're talking about. You don't have real expertise. You don't have the blood, sweat, and tears in this game to know the real strategies and know the real principles. You sit behind a fucking dumb computer and blah, 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 all fucking day on your super chats and your stupid live streams and your stupid fucking shitty videos, okay? And I call you up. Why? Because that's what a man should do. Okay? That's what a man that loves this game and respects this game should do, okay? And of course, what do you expect the fucking shitheads to do? To come in with a bunch of made-up slander narratives, okay? Now all I can do is fucking go after them legally. That's really the only recourse. I made a bunch of response videos, but everyone likes the sensationalist uh, made-up slander. So that's nice that, they, that they're playing at that level. But Richard needed to be called out, and thank fucking God he's leaving. Reasons why um, a lot of guys in my community don't have a lot of patience and tolerance for it because it's quite childish. That's what it's turned into. It's turned into a bunch of men that behave like women. They behave like children. If you think that a man calling out another man, okay, for misleading countless guys and for not knowing what the fuck he's talking about or for settling down with a two or a three out of ten, okay, when they're claiming to be the master, the master guru about women and about dating and about being alpha and all this shit, get the fuck out of here, okay? Only, all you can do, Richard Cooper, is go buy some fucking expensive cars, okay, and in the backstory when I looked into it is that your brother was the successful businessman and brought you in and you, and you're just fucking collecting off, off his fruits of labor. Okay. That's all you're good for. So go do that. Okay. Go tell everyone how to be the ultimate entrepreneur. Okay. But don't fucking say a word about dating cause you don't know shit. Uh, little girls in fact, and it's become exhausting. Um, I'm not doing any more speaking events at any of these conferences. Good. Cause you're not invited anyways. Ever again. Uh, unless I am either facilitating it with my group. So rule zero, you know, with the main core group with that, we'll have our own live event at some point this year, hopefully. Rule zero shows zero proof. When COVID opens up right now, 
We're in the stupidest level of lockdown here in Ontario. Me driving one of my cars out of my region to go get lunch at a place technically is breaking the law, um, which is due for a fine, but another story. Lockdown should lift eventually. Vaccines are getting passed out and everybody that's scared should stop being scared at some point, hopefully. It passes over. I think what I'm probably going to end up do, doing going forward is I'll probably introduce you guys to a lot of the top shelf men that I get to roll with. In okay, the rest of it's just more just positioning and, and elitism and other stupid shit. Okay, well, you know, I have all these top men I roll with, all the coolest people in the world, the doctors, the lawyers, uh, what else, fighter pilots, what else sounds cool, all nuclear chemists. Yeah, we all just like to drive around in our cars, take them out to lunch, hopefully not get a fine. Okay, that's fine. Hang out with all your elitist friends, okay? Circle jerk on, on, in that circle of the, of the internet, okay? I'm sure everyone will be very uh, grateful for, for all the expertise you can provide there, okay? But don't come into a fucking dating community and act like an expert just because you happen to like Rolo's shit. And, and then as you see when, he, when he's leaving, Oh, the red pill is much worse than blue pill. Okay, uh, what, were, what was your stance the whole time you were fucking making videos? Now you're going to denounce that? Okay, and, and he has no business here. He just got fucking walked all over like a total doormat by single moms. Okay, he has no... This guy's not slamming out sunners. This guy's not making infields. This guy, he's not even being an alpha guy. Okay, he talks a whole lot about nothing. The guys that, that follow his shit turn into fucking women haters and, and resentful and get super confused, okay? And he's adding a shitload of fucking negativity to the community, okay? You want to call me the negative guy for calling him out or call him, or he wants to call me like a little girl or a woman, okay? That's that's fine. Go fucking drive off like, like a cool man in your McLaren, okay? So whatever. That's pretty much it. If you want to get real good training at the game and master this very, very quickly, please jump on a free 30-minute call. I'll show you how I can take you in a customized game plan from wherever you're at to a very advanced level very quickly. If you're not yet a subscriber, please subscribe below. And I will be seeing you guys very soon on a lot of great videos. And let me know what you guys thought about the, uh, the 4K camera and those three levels of Zoom. I'm in a different application right now, so I can't do the different levels of Zoom. But let me know if you prefer the zoomed in, the halfway, or the, or the zoomed out. Okay? Thank you so much for watching. See you later, Richard Cooper. No one gives a fuck that you're leaving, but it's, it's nice. It's uh, one down and many to go. So thank you so much for watching, guys, and I'll see you on the next video. Take care. Some do it for the income, but we do it for the outcome. Some of us are active while others just let their mouth run. No doubt, son, this is not just about fun. We will not be outdone by these cowards who shout scum.